Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today I'm going to do a really fast uh, video. This is raw. I'm just recording the audio straight from the laptop and doing a quick time screen recorder. Um, so I'm not doing anything special. I just want to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to add in uh, camera calibration profiles. Um, if you see them right here, um, all this has is your basic um, profiles that Adobe's added in. Um, but you can add in your own profiles under the camera calibration. And let me show you kind of what it does and why I want to do it because Adobe has a tendency to take uh, raw files and add in their own color correction and ruins it from the way it looks on the back of the LCD or the way you wanted it to look in camera. Um, and I've kind of been messing around with this so I downloaded some of the some presets or color profiles that people have made for the Sony A7S because I recently got one from B&H that I'm playing around with. Um, so what we want to do is we, I'm going to show you kind of the difference real quick so you can understand what I'm trying to do. And if someone has a better way of doing this and understands it, please let me know. Because um, this is all that I've done a bunch of research and this is as far as I've gotten. So we're going to go to users and what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to import these files or pictures, I should say. Um, and I've just been playing around with the Sony A7S the last couple of days since I got it to play around with. And let me show you. take a second to load I'm on my uh, Mac so it's a little bit slow on my Mac than my powerful desktop alright so this is what it looks like on the back of the camera and when I click on this Adobe is going to change it to their color so and it's already done it hold on let's go to a alright and that's if you see it real quick and Adobe is just changing it right so it's more flat less color um, for me, I want to be able to have that control to do the color correction. I don't want this added color in. So this is an issue with a, a lot of profiles being able to get the actual uh, new, neutral uh, profile or whatever prof color style profile that you're getting from the back of the camera onto the image without Adobe fixing it for you, uh, Lightroom. So what the color calibration does is it helps out with that. Uh, is the idea that you can download it, that people made presets to do that. So to add that into your Lightroom, it's really easy. So what we're going to do the first thing is we're just going to go on and leave Lightroom. Exit out. And we'll exit out of this and I'm going to walk you through the process because you will have to reboot Lightroom once you add the profiles in. And a lot of people are getting confused on the forms and even I got confused for a second on how to add these in correctly. So I've already downloaded the profiles and if you guys want a link to that, leave a comment below and I'll try to get around to adding a link if you have a Sony A7S. Uh, control A, um, we're going to highlight them all, then Control C to copy them. From there, we will go to Untitled, which is just the name of my hard drive. Now, if you don't have this option under your favorites, it's very simple. We'll go up to make sure you're in Finder right here. Go to Go, hit Computer, and then there's your hard drive. And what you can do if you want to add it is you can just drag it on over. So here's where people are getting confused. To add those uh, presets or color profiles in, um, a lot of people are going through library, uh, Adobe, or application support, Adobe, and then camera raw, and then camera profiles. Even I did it first, as you can see, I got confused. This is not the way to do it. You do not want to do it this way. You want to go to users, your name, uh, whoever your username is. Now, if you see, I actually have the library folder. A lot of people will have that hidden, and this is where they're getting really confused because they can't find the library folder, and they keep going through um, this library option thinking this is where it's at when it's under users and then username. So we'll hit control and then right click you can hit control and click for right click if you're using the pad and the keyboard that are on the actual MacBook Pro if you're using a mouse just right click show options and then you can toggle it on and off here it's really simple. Oh there it is there it goes hello goodbye hello goodbye awesome so we figured that one out um, that took me a good half an hour to figure that out, um, unfortunately. So we got library. We're going to click on library. From there, we're going to go to application support. We're going to go to Adobe, camera raw, and then we want to go to camera profiles. If you're adding, adding any kind of lens defaults, that's where they're going to be at, or the lens profiles, I mean, right here. All right, so double click, and I've already got them in here. Um, but if you don't, just command and V. So actually, I'll just delete these. Command D, delete, and then, or Command, delete, and then we'll do Command V because we just 
we just copied those over. Now they're in there. If you've already got Lightroom, exit it out. You can open it up, and those profiles are going to be in there. And that's how you add in your color profiles um, for your cameras. It's really simple. Um, a little confusing if you're reading the forms. I couldn't find a video, so I just decided, hey, I've got some dead time. I'm going to go uh, show these profiles. Now, the profiles did not get me to where I wanted. They helped. Um, so I'm going to add um, 2012 current Adobe, and then I'm just going to go down to neutral. And if you notice, it added a little more neutral. Um, it, it bled some of the colors out a little bit more. So if anybody knows how to do a better job of this, maybe a preset or a better neutral profile for this Sony a7S, I would love to hear about it or any other camera. Because um, it's very frustrating when I take, uh, like I use the Cine styles um, on, my, on my Canon uh, like 60. And when I bring them in, it wants to correct those and then my cine styles, uh, you know, are not as flat as I wanted them, giving me ideally more dynamic range, so I have a better job color correcting, getting the colors where I want them at. So, uh, but if I'm way off base here and uh, I'm making no sense, uh, this is the first time I've really messed with this. Please leave a comment or send me a message because uh, it's something new to me, and I'm trying to learn it and trying to understand it a little bit better to get what I want um, from color correction. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below or send me a message, me, unlocked101 at gmail.com. Again, uh, sorry about the video and the audio. I just made a quick video, and I'm, I'm going to upload this straight to YouTube now. So you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll catch you next time.